Hey YouTube, Mike the Gambling Guy here. Thanks for joining me on my channel. Hey, I really appreciate you all, all showing up today. I'm gonna bring you some more roulette. I think it's just my second session of roulette. But um, as I've talked about in the past, I use the energy of the game playing roulette and I actually document everything. Um, and, and actually right now I have a, a good bet to make. Uh, so I'm only, only gonna try here to get five units. Um, to get my balance back up to 1800 so funny story <laughs> not funny at all um, last Thursday yeah full moon fantastic had a great day easily easily won my my money made I don't know, 800 some dollars that day got up to six nine hundred bucks um, the next day Friday woke up uh, supposed to be best of season day and woke up feeling like crap had a cold and just went into it very quickly um, lost 600 bucks. I don't remember if I had uh, fallen into a martingale style or not. I honestly don't remember. But I know I did two times later that day. And uh, and it didn't do me any good. And uh, like immediately I was down to, to $4,000 um, that day. So there you can see we just picked up uh, one unit. Uh, because the, the energy of the table had... Uh, if, you, if you haven't noticed... By, by looking at the numbers over there on, on the side, that there was actually seven evens in a row, right? And then when something, then when the energy somehow goes the other way, more times than not, it will come right back. It, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to slingshot and it's just going to come right back to the other side. So just, just one thing I, I, I look for as far as the patterns in the energy in the table. And this table has been a, a little bit streaky. Um, since I sat down. So right now, so far I've recorded uh, 22 spins. I only need four more units. My next uh, my next bet will actually be um, a parlay bet. So I won the, the first bet. What I like to do um, when I'm playing roulette is I do a, a, a bet multiplier. So I'm actually will be uh, parlaying my bets. So there's 18, also even, and low. So if you haven't noticed, you can also take a look and see that we've had five low numbers in a row. So I'm expecting another low number here with my, my parlay bet. Remember, first part of my bet was only five bucks. Five bucks, I'm doing five dollar units, and uh, this one's two units, 10 bucks. So hopefully th this video, we can wrap this one up pretty quick. <laughs> I think the last time I, I ended up um, going back and forth a little bit, and I don't know, that might've been uh, Baccarat. Uh, I, I knew I'd get to three units. I was playing d Bear for that one. This one I'm playing Profit Multiplier, uh, a progressive system. So uh, in this one, in order to win, I mean, I could, I could win three units in the first two bets, right? Hopefully that's the case right now. We just need a low number. Uh, we can very quickly go, there, we made three units. Otherwise, in order to get that back, and yes, the energy took that into 10 black, which is an even and low number. So the low continues, and I'm gonna go back to my initial bet of $5, and we're gonna go back on low, looking for that streak to continue. If it goes one more time, that would be seven times. I take a break at seven times, because it's amazing how many times something stops after seven, and actually I could show you on my sheet that it, it actually happened um, even just twice in tracking this shoe. Or, or, or this round. So as I am showing, you know, the results on the game only give us 10, 10 things to track, 10, the last 10 numbers. So I typically need 16 um, before I'm, I'm actually starting making my bet. My first bet is also always a phantom bet when I'm playing roulette. So what's a phantom bet? If you hadn't heard me say that before, um, phantom bet is always, if I was going to make a bet like a real bet, that, that would be a, a phantom bet. So in this case, we had just lost our low bet because we've got 27 odd and high. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to rebet because now I'm on the, the B part of my bet. That was the A part of my bet, lowercase a. This is going to be lowercase b for one unit. And the first three steps of my sequence are all the same. One unit. 
And then, then the second bet, of course, is two units. So if I win back to back, I will have recovered any losses and, um, and gained a profit. And then if I have to go to the fourth bet, that is what we call is uppercase A. Ooh, so, so close. 20, but the energy said, uh-uh, I ain't going, I ain't going there. So now I'm actually in lowercase c, and I'm looking for a high. And it's not only because I've just lost the last two. That's, that's, that's actually not the reason why I, I went to high. There's a whole other reason why I went to high, and a lot of the rules I can't explain because I actually have a coach and mentor, and I signed a do not disclose for, for the game of roulette. Not for the game of Akira. But for the game of craps and the game of roulette um, and, and learning how to see the energy in the game and, and really playing it for years and watching it for years and you go, it's it's a real thing. Because um, even when I was playing uh, what, roulette yesterday, I was even like, okay, well, the next number is going to be red, odd, and high. So it's either going to be 19, 21, 23, or 27. And 21 came up. So there was nine. So I am literally not reading... Uh, the energy of this table correctly at all right now. So I'll be going to a, a capital A and I'm only willing to make one more bet because there th this actually is a decent bet um, on black and it requires two two units. So capital A of course is, is two units. Capital B will be two units. If I would have to go to um, the unit beyond Capital B, two units, it'd be three units, because then it'd be three units, my next bet would be six units, because I have to win back to back. It's not, it's not only good enough to win one bet, you actually have to win back to back bets in order to, uh, in order to facilitate the win. And that's what we're gonna try to do here. So we're looking for black. And I'm in, I'm in wacko world here. which is actually the energy does exactly the opposite. And that does happen after you have some, some large stretches of, of, of big streaks where it just goes into a wacky world. I don't have a good bet here anyway. And I'd actually, because I've lost four in a row, I have to, to win two phantom bets, make believe bets, before I could actually come in with real money for my capital B bet. So, welcome to Wacky World. Wacky World is where the energy will do exactly the opposite of what you anticipate. You know, it'd be like being on a NASCAR race and go, oh, we're going to do a left-hand turn. <laughs> nope, everybody went right. What? What happened? That's not the way the energy was supposed to flow. So, six black. So, here until I, I see a bet that I like. I don't, I don't have one at this point. So right now I am down four units. Four nickels from where I had started. I thought I would have been down five. <laughs> Being that I did the uh, capital A. So, so I told you what happened Friday. My balance just got, just got eaten up on Friday, right? Went along the weekend. Things, things were going good. Got to Monday. Monday morning, I could say, I got lazy, and I martingaled. Just made the first couple of bats. What wasn't, wasn't easily made. Um, actually, martingaled to 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 be up like fifty bucks. And then all of a sudden, I got into a martingale that just spun out of control. And then all of a sudden, I'm I'm down to fourteen hundred bucks. And I'm like, okay, I'm done. I mean, I've got got my goals that I really want to obtain. I don't want to don't want to have to throw more money at it because 
I'm trying to, to pay for taking my, my family on a trip. Luckily, it's in December, and I've got some months before it all has to be paid for since I've already made the uh, substantial down payment for it. But I got I got some winnings to do. I gotta gotta pull together some winnings. There's 13 black. And that one's odd and low. So if I'm gonna do a phantom bet, I would say my phantom bet next is gonna be a high number. And you're like, Mike, why is it gonna be a high number? It's one of those things I can't tell you. But hopefully we're hopefully the wacky energy has uh, dissipated and it is no longer hanging around because uh, we, we need to get two, two phantom bets correct, and then we can enter the game back with real money again. But I'm only, I've only got one shot to shoot, because um, I'm not willing to go uh, beyond the capital B. Uh, capital B is gonna take me down enough units that I'll, I'll basically just start over again, uh, and, and go, we're just gonna start back over, and we're gonna get $5 units. Uh, this session just, just didn't happen. Just weren't, weren't reading the en energy right. And here, see, this is a, a phantom bet. That's why we didn't make real money bet. We missed that phantom bet. So here, our next phantom bet. We've got a good bet on odd. I would think it'd be a good bet on odd. We'll see, <laughs> right? We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Uh, when, he, when he gives this ball a toss. And maybe, maybe it's him. Maybe it's Terry the dealer. Maybe that's it. I never blame the dealers. I don't. I don't care if a new dealer steps up. It, some say it, it has an effect on you know where they toss the ball, where it normally comes in. And I get that. I mean, I, I, I guess I can see that at times. Um, I mean, they, they are creating some energy, but I'll come up to a table that was closed. I'll come in the next day. I'll be the first guy sitting there. They'll, they'll throw the ball once just to make sure the wheel works, right? Without it, I don't have to have a bet on it. See, also, I just stay in wacky world. This is why we do phantom bets, so we don't have to keep, uh, keep rolling down a, a steep hill. So the next phantom bet... Aren't you, aren't you having fun watching these non-bets? The next phantom bet would be a high number. I'm looking for another high number here. Remember, I, I haven't connected two phantom bets. I'm just going for my first one. So it's a good thing I wasn't martingaling here because this would feel just like it did yesterday morning where I just spun down and just crashed. And here you can see this is being very conservative. So we won our first phantom bet with a 20 even high. Yay. Now, now I, have to, I have to win one more phantom bet. It doesn't have to be the very next bet. I don't, I don't have to bet every time. That's certainly not um, something that I do. Certainly not something that I, that I feel I have to do. If I was going to make a bet here, I'd probably just put something on zero. Probably a nickel. Probably just put a nickel on zero. Or, or a dollar on the uh, on the racetrack around zero. It's funny to see how those actually come up and hit every now and again. Really hoping this video is going to be nice, short, and sweet. We're going to get our five units. I was going to get back up to 1800 bucks. Maybe you guys are going, no, lose it all. I want to I I see it go down. So that was a back-to-back -back 20. I was, I was kind of expecting an even number there, but I wasn't going to make it a phantom bet. All right, next phantom bet time. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's, it's got to be a high number. I know, sounds sounds weird. We just had three high ones in a row. Can we continue? I mean, it'd be funny if we got another 20. But that is my birthday. Don't forget to send me a card. 
I mean, you can say every month. You just wish me a happy birthday. I don't think I'll probably ever, ever really say when my birthday is. Not something I'm always looking forward to is putting on some more gray here. Not so much here. <laughs> we almost went to that 20. It was a 16. So, woohoo! Once again, we are we are not costing ourselves any money. But but look, we did just have our fifth even bet hit. So do you think we can get a six and a seven out of that? So our next phantom bet is going to be for even because we just had five even numbers in a row. And actually, I'm going to go go on a limb here and say if the energy is working, we're going to have black, even, and high. So look for that 20 again. I'd probably put an extra extra little nugget on 20, but you're looking at uh, 20, 22, 24, 26, and 28. Um, those would be the numbers that I would be expecting to, to fall into the energy. And if that hits, I mean, what, what, what did I just say? 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. 26 hits. I mean, do you, do you really need any more proof that the energy's real? You saw me call it. It was going to be black, even, and high. I mean, I wish I could say I was done, <laughs> but I did, didn't actually get my bet on those. And that those those are kind of hard to get my bet on anyway, just considering how late I was coming in. Oh, and of course, my game expires. Be right back. <laughs> and again, black, even, high. Jesus, it's just going to make my bets there again. Okay, do you need any more proof? Besides, I didn't make any money because my, my time expired on the table. <laughs> and then we got, we got our seven evens. But I, got, I mean, I got my two my two phantom bets hit. That's, that's great news. <laughs> got my two phantom bets hit. Now I've got seven evens. So what does that mean? <laughs> means I'm not betting on the next one. Uh, if this next one goes odd, I'm, I'm definitely going to bet even. If it actually goes even, I'm going to bet even. I just want to get past that number seven. And that's going to be for $10. And watch, maybe just because I reopened my window, we'll see if uh, if they're still going to make me make a bet or if they're going to say, sorry, you, you were idle for too long. You actually need to refresh the site, which I didn't do. I just reopened the window up. And, and, and we'll see if they give us uh, any hard time there. So, so there's 14 red. So that is another even and it is low. So here I'm expecting black even and low. Surprise, I'm back. <laughs> so so look, the last nine were red and I hit my goal of 1800. Sorry, I had to shut it down. The, uh, the website wanted to melt down on me and not come back. So in order for me to, uh, to do it, I'm sorry you didn't get to see it. I did get to write it all down though, and, and, and get to get to get my units. Um, I even tried to, to call another number. It's going to be uh, one three five seven or nine, and uh, on that one, it it actually ended up going uh, to thirty six. It, it did go high, but it was still red. Um, and then look what came back right after that. <laughs> well, seven, seven, seven was the next hit right after that. Sometimes you see, you see where the energy is going. It may, it may not just be right when you want it to go there, but it's amazing how many times that you call for the energy to show up somewhere and it does. So let, let's see if the, uh, if the slingshot is going to bring this right back. It's going to slingshot right back to us on the red side. If you'd like this comment, if you like this content, please, Give it a thumbs up. Please like it. Please subscribe. Really want to grow this community, both playing Baccarat and Roulette online. If you want to know where I play, feel free to reach out to me, MikeTheGamblingGuy.com. Did you see that energy? It was literally, it was a magnet. There's a magnet underneath that table that said, you're coming back here to nine, right? So, so it, it knew which way it wanted to go. And if I was going to continue to play, there are, there are actually um, some more um, significant bets that are showing up within this. But I hit my goal. I mean, I, I got to be happy that I hit my goal. So it's, 
time to time to call tonight. Time to head to bed. So it's been it's been a good day. Um, hit my goal. We'll come back tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll start the morning off with some Baccarat, right? Maybe I'll be back at eighteen hundred. Hopefully I'm not below eighteen hundred, right? But smash that like button, subscribe, tell your friends. We're looking at growing this community and want you to be part of it. Mike the Gambling Guy. I'm out.